Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk about what you should know when you stay in hotels. Things that you need to know but maybe you don't want to. <laughs> okay, I used to be a chambermaid. I worked uh, for a while at one of the hotels called the Quality Suites and I worked there. It was a pretty decent hotel. So um, I never, I don't have any stories about that. It was pretty standard. I mean, when they trained us, um, a, a chambermaid, when you get into the routine of it and you, you're up to speed and anyways, you learn how to do the rooms, you get 10 rooms. And um, yeah, that usually is one shift. Anyways, um, what I did learn is when chambermaids clean the room, the only thing they change are the sheets on the bed and the towels. So the comforter they take off and they put on the little chair and the little thin blanket they take off too. And they remove the sheets and the pillowcases and they put new ones and then they put back the same um, comforter and blanket. And the only way they change that is if there's a stain or if you notice that it looks dirty. Otherwise, it stays in the room and who knows how long it's been there. I don't know. Ugh. So when I found that out, I did not know that. I thought before I started working there that they're supposed to change everything and wash everything. But uh-uh, they don't. And I'm a germaphobe, so I was like, oh my god, ew. <laughs> So I never sit on the comforters. I always like remove it and put it away or if I have to use it because it's cold or something, I will like make sure the sheets are like pulled over it so it doesn't touch me. Yeah, so hotels are not always that clean and um, I believe Oprah did a show on that on hotels and they did all kinds of tests and it was like super expensive hotels to water it to like cheap and uh, anyways I don't know I'm just saying from my experience of what I've learned and being a chambermaid you know chambermaid and housekeeping is hard it's a difficult job so uh, you know if you're staying in a hotel and be nice to your chambermaid tip her because you know it's hard work it's a difficult job <laughs> anyways so back to my chambermaid and hotel stories I mean and these are all pretty much you know decent hotels that I'm gonna talk about I would hate to know what would happen in like yucky like Bates motels or something like ugh. anyways so yeah my girlfriend and I we were at one point looking for jobs and we answered one um, hotel in downtown Montreal that were hiring chambermaids so we went to the interview and they actually hired both of us and they trained us together so we went for we, we worked there one day <laughs> so we went for the job and there was this lady that was training us and they had given like a crazy number of rooms that we were supposed to do which was a lot and in this hotel it had a kitchen or a kitchenette so you had to wash dishes and the kitchen part so it's an added on to like a normal rooms it's hard and this hotel I mean it's not like it was a lower end hotel it actually was a higher end you know when we were training and the lady was training us she was telling us yeah such and such American actor was staying here over the summer and he stayed here for like a month so it just goes to show you that it wasn't a dump it was a decent hotel but I think their problem was they didn't have either enough staff or they don't treat their staff properly so chambermaids cut corners or at least some of them do so this lady, she was telling us, you know, if it looks clean, it is, you know, so pretty much they were taking like the dirty toilet rags or rags that they had already used in bathrooms and quickly just wiped the kitchen and rinsed out the dishes and just left them. So if it looks clean, it is clean was the mentality there. So my girlfriend and I were like, oh my God. <laughs> ah! <laughs>
<laughs> I were so disturbed by this <laughs> that we didn't work there. That was like one day and that was enough. And we were like, oh my God, ew. So we never went back there. And uh, yeah, we learned something definitely new. <laughs> and then anyway, she had gotten another job she found uh, in one of the other hotels and she was working there in this particular hotel, I guess. Uh, they ask the chambermaids um, once a week or whatnot to also do laundry. That's part of the housekeeping. So I believe uh, she was trained and the chambermaids had told her, okay, so when you leave your shift, uh, when you're done, you put the clothes in the in the washer and the dryer and you set it all up, you know, so the next day it can have a certain flow and things are ready. So whatever. So she started her shift the next day. And she took the clothes from the washer and she put them in the dryer. And, you know, everything was folded and things were carried out throughout the day. And then I don't know if it was in the middle of the day or if it was towards the end of the day. But she realized that she didn't put the clothes on to wash. She just took the clothes from the washer and threw them in the dryer. And they were dirty. So, I mean, and it's not like just one washer. There are just like maybe five washers and five dryers. So it's like five loads going at the same time. So all those dirty linens and towels and they were in the dryer heating up. And then everybody folded them and put them on the shelves and put them in the carts and put them on the beds. And <laughs> so... She was freaking out. She's like, oh my God, what should I do? Like, what do we do? So the lady told her, she's like, well, there's nothing we can do. Just like, don't say anything. Just, shh, you know, like, leave it alone. And of course she called me and she's like, oh my God, <laughs> you wouldn't believe what happened. <laughs> so all the dirty towels and the dirty sheets were put back on the beds <laughs> and put on the shelves. And, you know, this this other hotel was pretty decent, too. It wasn't, like, a, a crappy place. So I thought it was so funny because that's just, like, a, a common mistake that could happen to anyone. And, you know, it happened. And who would know? And if you're somebody, you know, staying at the hotel, you would never expect to be sleeping on <laughs> dirty sheets. <laughs> but, you know, it happened. And I thought it was so funny. It's funny, but it's yucky at the same time. And it's one of those stories that you just hear and it's like, can't believe it, but it happened. But whatever. I thought I would share that. And I'm sure if she hears this, she's going to be cracking up. <laughs> but, you know, we'll keep it a secret of what hotel it was. And, you know, if my friend is watching, she knows who she is. <laughs> I love you. You're so amazing. But, um... Yes, I thought I would share that with everyone. So it's a little tip that if you stay anywhere that's not your place, you don't necessarily know if it's clean. Because uh, if you didn't clean it, you don't know how the other person did. And uh, I don't know, these days I wouldn't trust, but I'm a gerbophobe. So <laughs> just be careful and, you know, don't sit on the comforters and the bedspreads and hotels because uh, they're definitely not washed every time and that's it I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you laughed along with me and you were a little bit like ah. <laughs> and uh, I hope you watch my other videos and you subscribe and you email me and you let me know uh, what you think so I wish you a wonderful day keep smiling keep laughing and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.